up guys today i'm unboxing an ipad air it's fifth generation it's brand new from apple and it comes in 64 gb or 256 gb and there's no other option and let's open it and see what's in there So this one is 10.9 inches retina display, it has 8 GB RAM and it has M1 chip which is the latest Apple using in these devices. Better be blue. And come on. I got the pen as well with it, the stylus. And let's see what's in there. So here it is. As you can see. Blue color. Let's take the wrappers off. I bought it because I, I like this color and the specs are good too. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's turn it on. Hopefully, it will be charged a bit. If not, then I'm gonna have to charge it now. What else comes with it? So, at least Apple gives you the cube with it and the charging cable, which is Type C to Type C, as you can see. Type C to Type C cable, that's not bad. <coughs> you don't get these uh, charger, or I mean, you do get cable, but no charger with the uh, new phones. But um, with the iPad, at least Apple gives. Uh, charger and cable so the camera is 12 megapixel front and back and you can make the video 4k or 1080p and display as I said is 10.9 inches and resolution in, in DP and in pixel is 1640 into 2360 pixels and 264 DPI density so these are the, the like main features. Now let's set it up and let's see how it goes. So I was just trying to figure out uh, how do you charge the stylus. The stylus came with it. I'll show you. This is the stylus. A new stylus. It has a wrapper on it. And it sticks here. I think it has a magnet. And probably it charges while it's into it but we'll, I'll figure it out so let's set it up <coughs> so in case if you're wondering uh, the price of this iPad is uh, in Canadian dollars which are around eight hundred and fifty dollars and this stylus I believe is second gen and this is uh, like just below two hundred dollars so <coughs> excuse me so let's select your country. I'm in Canada. Click the set up manually. And let's put the password. Let me just enter the password. I'll be right back. So 
So, yeah, I just had to hide it just in case my neighbor is watching the video and I don't want him to connect to my network. So, I hope you can see it clearly. Uh, excuse me, it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. And I'm able to activate. Try again. Yeah, you get these kind of errors sometimes, you know, it's a problem is with the Apple server because it's connected to Wi-Fi as you can see. And now it looks okay. So continue. And touch ID. I don't set up later. Just to let you know this one does not have a face ID, it comes with touch ID. So passcode. So I'll skip for now. Don't use passcode and don't transfer apps and data. And if you don't want to uh, enter your Apple ID at this stage, so you can always say set up later in setting. And don't use Apple ID. So you have to agree these to these terms and conditions and keep your iPad up to date. Continue. Enable location service. Okay. Siri set up later in settings. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to go through these steps, you know, when you're setting it up for the first time. So, iPad analytics, share with Apple, it's up to you. I don't share usually, but it's totally up to you. So, get started. So, here it comes. <coughs> As you can see, well, let's go in the settings, general, and iPad storage. So it's 64 gigabyte, and I haven't used anything. And mind you, it does not have home button, so you just slide it up to go to home page. So once I use it for a little while, I'll be making another video and leave my review. But I tell you something. Right now, these are in demand. Like I ordered online and my waiting time was just over a month and then suddenly I saw in one store had it and I just went there and grabbed it so anyway thank you very much for watching I'll be making another video later on and with the more details and I'll share my experience after using it and I guess I'll see you later in life thank you for watching <laughs>